Hello folks, this is a Levelor blind, the ones that you use for a patio door, okay, horizontal. Uh, the problem with this one is that the handle broke. See it right there? Common problem when you pull it back and forth and it snaps right off. See it? So what we're going to do is we are going to replace it. This is it right here. This one, the turning piece, is attached to the very first blank. Okay, just remember that when I show you something about it. Okay. Now, what I did was, you can either call Level Off, return it back under warranty. If it's under warranty, but it is plastic, it will snap right here. If you want, do what I do. I picked up a Level Off blind, the cheapest one. This one says uh, 48 inches or whatever. This is the model number right there. Pick the cheapest one up at Lowe's. It's about $20. And I'm going to take the part off of it. And I'm going to put it onto the one that I need. Okay, so this is the short one that I bought. And I'm going to replace it and put it in the long one that I need. All right, so starting at the end over here, we're going to take two Phillips screws off. And take this little plate off, throw it off to the side, and save it. This little plastic piece here, it's going to wiggle out. Now, if you notice, there's a little clip there. See that little clip? You're going to need a needle nose plier to pull that little clip out. And then it will let go of that rod. But right now, it's going to come out with the rod. Okay? So you flip it around, you find the best spot for it. This is probably it, right here. You're gonna pull that little clip out. Once you pull that clip out, then you'll be able to get rid of this little plastic piece. All right, hang on, I'm gonna put you down while I pull that piece. All right, so here's that little tiny clip. Just grab it by the little curve down there and give it a nice pull, and this piece will come out. All right, put that off to the side, and you don't wanna lose it. Now this piece here, like I said before, this is attached to this. All right, so when you slide it out, it's gonna come out as one piece. So you slide it all the way out, and what happens is that all these other ones, all the other ones, is going to slide along with it, because it's all attached. Okay, I'm going to show you why it's all attached. It's attached with these little nylon, looks like wire ties. Each one is attached to another one all together. So when you pull one, it gets to the very end, right here, and it yanks it, and it pulls the next one. Okay, so... Since we're not using the short one, we're just using the part for it, I need this piece only, just this rod piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate it from this piece, which is the first piece. So, I'm gonna show it to you. I already cut it off already, but I'm gonna show you how it's attached. So it'll be easy to understand. All right, hang on a second, I'm gonna just make it separately for you. All right, here's the piece that it's attached to, all right? This one is attached to this one. It's like a light green in color. Then it continues. This one is attached to this one. And so far, and it goes all the way down. So since I don't need this piece, I'm going to cut it. So I cut the piece off. You can spin it around like that. Let's see if I can, let me see if I can move this whole contraption over to the, to the bench a little bit more. So not so blurry. All right. So now... Cut that little piece off to separate it from this one, and I can pull this piece out. Once I pull the piece out, then this one gets, this one comes out. But this one is actually attached to this one here. Okay? And it's got this little tiny tab over there. Now remember, this is the broken one, so I don't care about the broken one. So what I did was I took a pair of needle nose pliers. And I cut two little pieces over here off. So I'm able to get rid of the old one. There it is right there. Okay, I took those two pieces off with that one piece. So I didn't harm this one. And I have it. And the new one is going to be sealed. And the way you're going to put the new one on is you're going to line it up. You're going to put it back in here. 
and you're going to push this tab right through it okay so on the new one over here it's going to be brand new okay because you didn't damage it put the new one onto the old one and you're going to slide it on snap it right through that little hole and then what you're going to do is you're going to reassemble everything and put it all back together so this one will get a new one like that and that's it and the rest of it you're going to put it back in reverse you're going to slide this back into the bar over here you're going to line everything up hang on a second i'm going to show you all right so on the new one going back in you're going to slide everything all back in slide this back in put your little cover on okay and then put that little pin in there all right remember that little pin slide it back in then you're all set okay now remember go back a little bit just to, to remind you guys the old one which is the broken one you can just cut that little tab off okay because you don't want to ruin this little piece on the one that you're changing okay on the good one you do not want to damage this piece okay so when you cut it out only cut this piece off on the old one the new one you need it to have it intact like that okay because when you get your new one you're going to stick this in here it actually comes this way like that I'm just going to stick through that. Like this is going to slide through here. Right there. It's going to snap in. That's why it's shaped like a little triangle there. All right? It's going to snap in, and then it won't be able to come back out. It's a one-way piece. All right? Take your time. It's not that crazy. All right? But everything, everything works. It spins all the way around. And that's it. And the only thing is to replace the handle. You notice that the new one comes with a little screw. I just got to take the screw off of this one and put the metal handle on there. Other than that, that's it. Then this one is junk, 20 bucks. You can throw it out or you can save these things. You probably use this. That's the only thing you can use. But the rod is too short. The metal is too short. And whatever else was in that box is going to be a waste. So for 20 bucks plus tax, get some spare parts. All right, if you want to keep the pin in case you lose it, you want to keep this other piece if you want to. Whatever you want to do. Otherwise, if you break something else, go spend another 20 bucks, a couple hours of time, and you can get it done. All right? It's not fun, but that's why it's a DIY. All right? Do it yourself. Save some money. Give you something to do. All right? So don't forget, the old one, you can chop it up. The broken one, you don't give a crap about. But the new one, you do not cut that piece off. What you do is just cut this piece off. To get it out. Okay? Pay attention, be careful, because the second one is actually attached with a little piece, with a little cable. Look at this one. See it? That one there? This one here is the one that's attached to this one. And you pull this, this one pulls first. See that? Just be careful with it. Pay attention. Have fun. This is a fun project. Hopefully I don't have to do it again. Ciao.